Uh, hello, my fellow Zimbabweans. Uh, it's me, Ashley Masango. Today, uh, we're going to talk about strategy. Strategy that won't uh, allow our people to be killed by uh, the police and, uh, and the soldiers that we have in Zimbabwe because we know those people are waiting for us to get violent. Then they can use it as an excuse to uh, use the military to oppress us a bit more. Okay. We should congratulate ourselves. We have made the situation globally uh, recognizable. You know, uh, when I'm Kanye made songs, some of us wrote books, but they even took on social media. MDC has been saying similar things. People's First has been saying similar things about the Zanopiev regime. Okay, and the bar is high. I mean, people have demonstrated and have clearly showed that you cannot talk to the Zimbabwean government and they won't listen. And um, they're violent. Even a blind man can see that. So we are now going to override that. We are no longer going to be asking the Zimbabwean government for A, B, and C, like uh, we are Oliver Twist, us begging for more food. No, we keep doing that. They're going to bash our brains and they're going to kill us. So now we need to evolve and go to another level. We need to start going towards the UN the African, uh, the African nations, the 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 NATO, other official uh, government bodies that can recognize our plea and put pressure on Gabi without us having to uh, risk our life, having to risk our people's lives on the floor uh, internally in Zimbabwe, and the things that we should all be standing by, whether you are. MDC, this flag, people's first, Mgabe must go, or you're just an ordinary church go out. The things that we should stand by are we want these people to be recognized as international criminals that they are. We want the. Um, hold up. Yeah, as I was saying, we want them to be recognized as international criminals, which they are. We want them to be recognized for vote trading, for terrorizing people for obviously 36 years. We want their financial, uh, oh, their assets to be seized, be that in South Africa, then Botswana. We want their family members that are brought to be deported back, such as Takuzo uh, Kasukwere. These are the things we should be pushing for, and we don't want any official government to give them financial, medical, military aid we, we don't want that to be given to them they are a criminal organization they are not a government they should not be given those things at all ladies and gentlemen we should be cutting off the umbilical cord of zano pf with the rest of the world this is why i'm saying it's important for people in diaspora to be pushing for these things to happen because we have evolved to the point even the Chimurenka part when people had tried to speak into Smith, he had failed. So people had to now go outside the country and be trained in Mozambique and be trained near yeah, and be trained there. But now we, we don't need that military training. We just need to voice our uh, our facts to the right people, to the right governments. And we have proof. We have proof these people have rigged elections. They've killed people. We just need to be more active and stand behind these pillars. No matter where we are, who we are, this flag, MDC, these things are bigger than this flag, it's bigger than MDC, it's bigger than Gabi Masko, Masko uh, campaign, it is bigger than People's First, we should burn together and really exercise our rights in pushing these things forward. This is a strategy that will not risk our people in Zimbabwe from uh, from getting hurt and people in diaspora can protest as much as they can, they're not going to get beaten up by billy clubs like, uh, like our people in Zim or get killed. So we need to stand behind these pillars no matter who we are where we are these are the things that we should now be asking we cannot just go to meetings or be interviewed on the news and say oh we are getting beaten up by Mgabe. No, no, no. We are now demanding for these people to be cut off from other governments and to be recognized as international criminals. Those are the things that we should be fighting for. Here in the UK on 17th of September from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., we are going to be outside number 10 down on the street, not the UN offices, because all the UN major players will be in the USA. We're going to be outside number 10 down on the street. And I'm inviting MDC People's First, this flag, Mgabe Masko, to Jamga to all be there. We're going to voice our opinions, we're going to be heard. And people that are in the US, band up with 
uh, people such as Dr. Manika, Pastor Even, protest as much as you can outside the White House, outside the UN uh, offices, and people in Botswana, South Africa, Australia, be outside your parliaments. Don't be outside of the UN because all the major UN players will be in the USA. This is why I've been telling you, be outside your parliaments. We're going to be outside number 10 Downing Street and I'm inviting all of you to be there, all the people that are in the UK and those that are <laughs> that are going to be coming to the UK. So guys, let's stand behind those pillars and let's make sure that we are now demanding for Zano PF to have the umbilical cord cut off from the world. After that, they're probably going to want to sit down with people on the right on the round table and say, let let's uh let's join hands together and do this and do that because no one will be helping them and we're going to tell them you resign you pay back the money that that you stole and you can leave the government who will run it from scratch who started from scratch and that's the strategy that we should be going for without firing a single shot if they refuse that then we can ask for nato and the african union and and uh other government bodies to intervene military wars but that will not put our people at risk by giving them guns and trying to fight the Zim, uh, the Zim military. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is strategy. That is strategy that we should all be following. Okay, 17th of September, all of us, let's band up together wherever we are and, and push for these things to come into place. Thank you.